So some of you watching might wonder, should I buy a 4K monitor or not? Well, I'm glad I did. So this box came in the other day and it's a giant Acer 4K 43-inch monitor that is 60 hertz refresh rate, IPS panel, and 5 millisecond response time. The reason I bought it is because of productivity and to save space on my desk. Instead of having three monitors, now I can just have one and it would be equal to four. So what's not to like? So that was my reasoning, but man, some other things that, some other benefits that came from this are just amazing. So this box, or this monitor I should say, came with a couple of different cables. This is an HDMI cable, and this one is a DisplayPort cable. Also, it came with a power cable, which is pretty standard. The whole monitor itself is already pre-assembled, and it does swivel, um, forward and backward. I actually honestly haven't tried the swivel left and right because there's just no need. It's so huge. It's 43 inch panel. The screen itself is non-reflective, which I love, which is typical of IPS panels. Very thin bezel as well. And the picture is just amazing after I hooked it up. The uh, back panel does come with couple of different ports that's just a regular power cord and there are uh, two HDMI two display port and one mini display port connections available now let's have a look how this monitor performs of course there is a link in the description box below if you're interested in buying this monitor so as you can see great thing about a 4k monitor is ability to have multiple windows open at the same time which could improve your multitasking and your productivity greatly this is the main reason why I purchased a 4K monitor. So you can have, for example, your video files here. You can have Adobe Premiere running as well, project that I've worked on recently. This one is about building a workstation that I did, one of my last hardware videos. So you have that. So if I need to drag just new video files into it, I can simply just drag and drop and it'll be just perfectly fine. It also gives me plenty more room um, to work with when it comes to the timeline itself. You can see here especially how it increased the amount of things I can do here when it comes to doing anything really. And of course you can have multiple websites open. I prefer to open websites like this format so that way I don't have to scroll as much up and down when it comes to uh, you know using website. I found it to be great but of course you can you know, uh, make it so it's essentially four different windows, right? If you want to use it in a regular for um, 16 by 9 format and have your windows arranged like that, you can certainly do so. You can make, you can put anything you want here and have four windows. This is why I was saying it's equivalent to having four um, 1080p monitors in one and it just gives you so much space. So the next thing we're going to show you is some game footage, just so you guys can see if you're interested in games. So to me, when it comes to video games, it's like looking through a window into this magical world of video games. It's so sharp, and I don't know whether it's actually going to be able to portray that in this video that I'm recording, because it's not like it's real life, but I feel like I could literally touch this guy as if he was here. And this is one of those things... I, I just really can't explain any better, but that's how it feels because the picture is so sharp and and it's so crisp. It's like looking through a window. Hopefully I don't say that too much here, but that's the best way for me to describe it. Now keep in mind, you have to have a computer that's fast enough to get 60 frames per second. Like as you can see here, I'm getting about 55 right now, 56. But in general, I'm getting 60 frames per second with this video game that is set to ultra settings and it's just looks so magnificent and before I was using a 144 Hertz refresh rate uh, monitor for gaming and that's great too but it, it's just worth it's worth the sacrifice because right now if you want a 4k monitor of this size or pretty much any size that's over 60 Hertz it's going to cost you a lot of money this one is nowhere near that and the picture is just totally worth the, uh, the expense and, and it's incredibly affordable considering how much you're getting for this and I have V-Sync set turned on right now and I don't even know how it's gonna look to me it looks very sharp when I turn I don't see any screen tearing well there might be a little, well I have V-Sync on so I'm not sure it's really hard to tell for me but to me I just know it's really crisp it looks really good and it's just it's just amazing it's just amazing I'm gonna do a quick zoom in onto this little guy so you guys can see what's going
going on when it comes to detail but I suspect you would have to zoom in quite a bit in order to see any pixels in the shot itself. So this is zoomed in quite a bit into this and right now I really can't see, there's a little bit, you can see the pixels start to show up over here a little bit but not over here where the guy is, so where you see a lighter color technically the screen is actually a little bit closer to this side because it's angled a little bit but uh, let me zoom, zoom in just a bit more so you can see the pixels see now, now you start to see pixels actually so you have to zoom in, you can imagine, I'm gonna put my finger my hand right here, actually I'm gonna put my fist right there, I'm gonna zoom out and you can see how much you actually have to zoom in in order to actually see any of that so the density of them is really good compared to the size of it, right? Uh, pixels per size of the monitor, right? So this is, it's really, really amazing when it comes to that. And I'm just super happy because it's like looking in through, through a window. I know I said it again, I'm sorry. But that's just how I feel about it, you know? Amazing. Now let me show you a couple other games real quick. So of course I have to show footage of Fortnite, Fortnite being the most popular game right now. It's incredibly popular and uh, it is quite demanding when it comes to running in 4K. Um, so if you don't have a computer that's fast enough to run this in 4K then you don't necessarily um, you don't necessarily want a 4K monitor, right? So this monitor is 60 Hz, has 5 millisecond refresh rate which is not terrible and I had to set this game to medium settings for the most part, shadows off, anti-aliasing off. You don't need anti-aliasing when you're running this type of resolution whatsoever. So let's have a look uh, what kind of, and I'm getting anywhere between 40 to 50 frames, sometimes 60 frames per second. I don't know if you can see this, but it actually says there 55. And we're going to go in there real quick and see how it, it feels, how, see how it looks like when it comes to playing this type of game, which is not necessarily a uh, first person shooter, but it's a shooter game where fast pace is required. Right now I'm getting 54 frames per second, you can see right there. And I have an i7 with uh, R9 390, which is a bit older, older video card, but couple of generations back which which uh, was considered high-end at the time so keep that in mind so I wanted to show you how effective how well it does when it comes to moving fast movement right of course this is going to depend on your computer as well but I wanted to show you to see how it looks like and it's going to be hard to show when because I'm recording this at 30 frames per second which complicates it even more this is why it's one of those things you really can't explain well how well it looks like, how well how well 4K monitor looks like. So I'm just gonna jump out in a random place and pick up a couple of guns, but main thing I really wanted to show you is if you're playing these type of games, especially specifically Fortnite, you won't you may have an issue when it comes to with 1080p monitors, when it comes to zooming into somebody that's really far away. So you try to zoom in and uh, the guy just looks like a couple little pixels over there. Well, that is greatly eliminated with a 4K monitor. So, so instead of a guy looking like a little tiny pixel over there with 1080p monitor, when you're using a 4K monitor, it looks 10 times better. I, by the way, I'm terrible at this game, but that's okay. I still find it fun occasionally. So I'm just gonna pick up a couple of guns, hopefully something that I can show you off real quick. Actually, here's a perfect example of what I mean by zoom in. I saw a dude there. Where did he go? Oh, he took the rift. Okay, that's okay. I wanted to zoom in on a dude. Ooh. It didn't build for some reason. That's okay. We're going to... I just want to see a dude really far away. What is this? Oh, the gravity's changed here. This is something in game that people are doing nowadays. So look, there's a guy over there and I can clearly see him, you know what I mean? So he's on my team so I can't kill him, but that's really far away. And uh, that's the difference. 
between a 4K and 1080p monitors and where to come zoom in. Look how far that is. So if I zoom in, it is so crisp, so crisp. So that's the main thing here that I'm trying to point out. With so many extra pixels, you can see so much better at really far, you know? This is why we can see that these graphics are have a tessellation enabled, but basically means is if something's really far, it's gonna display them at low quality. So you can see now how low quality things are displayed in a distance when you're far away, you know what I mean? Another example is this, uh, let's see, a mountains over there. You see how they look really bad because of the tessellation is enabled. Okay, let's move on to another game. Now here's a game called Divinity Original Sin Definitive Edition 2. So what this game is about, and, and for this I'm just going to use my Xbox controller. I like to play games with Xbox controllers sometimes. Um, this is an RPG game, dungeon crawler if you will, but it's very on RP, uh, role playing aspect of it. And just another example of how, what you expect when it comes to using a 4K monitor for this type of thing. So I'm going to zoom in and out a little bit here just so you guys can see. And again, sitting close to the monitor like this is really not a big problem uh, because it's so, it's so sharp. Window, window action, guys, window action. So I'm going to talk to this guy. Well, he's going to rush up to me. It's going to be really creepy, so be warned. I'm just going to skip to this real quick, and I'm just going to fight him, basically. Real quick, just to show you guys how well this looks like. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to teleport him away so that he's a bit away, although I can handle him if he's up close just fine. But I don't want him in my face just for a second here. And just for fun of it, I'm actually going to charge him. So I'm going to basically separate him from my group by charging him here. And I was hoping to knock him down, but he, was, uh, he had too much physical armor to be knocked down, which is perfectly fine. Now I can come up behind him with my rogue and backstab him a couple of times. Well, at least once, I'm hoping. So what I'm going to do is come behind them with my rogue. She's awesome, by the way. And stab him like that. And what I'm also going to do, I'm going to gain more action points, which this is what the game's about. I'm starting to nerd out, by the way. This. I'm going to basically gain ability to attack him once more. And I'm going to do a flurry, which is going to attack him multiple times and just and just just murder him really quick. He may, he may not die, but it will hurt him quite a bit. Look at that. Nearly half of his health is gone. I'm going to do a little bit of a zoom in action so you guys can see, just like I did in the other games. A little close up. So this is my guy with a crossbow. I literally just got a crossbow from him. And just for fun, and this is a really bad strategy right now, but I'm going to shoot a fireball at him and it's gonna hit my dudes too but that's okay I just want to show you guys a little bit how you know how the how this how awesome this is you know what I mean and I'm gonna shoot him with the crossbow one more time oh wow that actually hit him for quite a bit uh, these guys are getting enraged there and, and I can anyways this is not a gaming video this is just me showing a 4k monitor okay guys thank you so much for watching uh, if you like this please leave a like if you have any questions I will more than glad to answer them because this is one of those things I you can't explain you know you can't explain I'll, you can you can try to show but then you're limited by other factors for example although I'm recording this at 4k you guys don't necessarily have a 4k monitor to view it properly in 4k and at the same time I can only record this at 30 frames per second with this camera that I'm using so thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye